Hi guys, so weight saving is next. Um, we've got quite a few things we can take out of this car. We thought it was quite light as it was, and it, and it was light. It was 936 kilograms, um, and that's with a, a big roll cage that goes all the way to the front bulkhead as well. So that's a full roll cage in there, um, even at that weight. So that's adding a bit as well. So not much in the car, but we still managed to find 29 kilos of weight to take out of it, and we'll show you how we did that and what we did. Um, it's mainly heater stuff and cooling. We decided we didn't need that in the cabin anymore. Um, now we've got the um, polycarbonate windows and we've got a nice slider to give an open breeze into the cabin. Heat wise, it's always warm enough in there in your race suit anyway. And in the winter time, we've got a heated front screen. So don't think we can have a problem with that. Um, missed an up or anything, we can just switch that on. And um, yeah, have a look, see what we've done. We've also taken off the AC compressor, that was quite a big weight saving, we showed that in a separate video. Cost wise, we're only talking about absolute minimal cost, because this is all taking stuff out of the car. Um, so like the belt, for example, with the AC saving uh, was around about 12 quid. And then other savings, well, where we've taken stuff out, we've had holes in the bulkhead between the engine bay and the cabin. So we've had to fill that up, and I've just used one mil thick aluminium, so couple of sheets of that uh, adds a little bit of weight maybe around half a kilogram something like that um, same we had to buy aluminium for the air box as well in the other video that hopefully you've seen and again it adds yeah maybe half a kilo and um, around about 15 quid for all that aluminium so nothing much really um, absolutely great saving to be honest have a look see what you think so in total I managed to save 29 kilograms of just miscellaneous stuff that we don't need. Um, the car was already light before we got it and now I've managed to save another 29 which is great. So here there's a, a load of bits and bobs, nothing major but it all adds up. Some of these are quite heavy actually, some of these things. So this is the heater control valve. Um, then you've got some pipes. This is quite heavy, this is the bracket for the battery. So the battery's in the back now so that's not needed. Then there's the main heater box which is under the dashboard which is massive. It's about two and a half kilos. Then you got this is what you see through the plate that I've put in the bulkhead. So that square there that you can just about see, that square shape is what I've blanked off. Um, and you can see that fan motor in there. That's quite heavy. Well, this is the air conditioning um, condenser, and then this is the heater matrix. So and oh this is really heavy so there's seven kilos there just of air conditioning compressor that we've bolted to the engine so now we've got a shorter belt which is slightly lighter as well obviously and it takes a lot less power from the engine you haven't got to turn the compressor then you've got the air box this is bulky and heavy too big big item that is and then this is a pollen filter box which sticks through the other hole that I've blanked off which uh, is uh, at the top right hand side of the engine bay and then you've got the lights and these these are heavy so these are two and a half kilos each um, so with these lights this is the result of cutting off the clear bit that I've kept on the car so this is where I, I used my uh, little hacksaw and cut all the way down there and then you can see at the bottom here the little cutouts these are the cutouts um, where I've put a little flange uh, that I can use to screw to. So that's that. Um, and here is the same sort of thing. So this piece is separate. That's clipped on on that one. But as you can see on this one, it's unclipped. So this clips on the front of there. And it's like a two part light unit. So you could. You could just unclip the back, that bit there that I'm showing on the camera, um, and then all you'd have is this bit, which is quite light, and if you didn't cut off the clear front, you would have standard looking car really. It looks like the lights are still there, this piece there, but I wanted to save every bit I could, so I thought I'd cut the lens off of this bit. So this big box for the uh, heating and ventilation system, um, this was situated in this orientation, and this rectangle here that you can see, um, is a rectangle that I blocked off in the engine bay bulkhead so there was a plate on top of there which is this plate here and through those holes came these um, you can see which holes for each one 
And yeah, these these items fitted into here. So as you can see, that one goes in like that. That's the air conditioning. And here is the heater matrix. So they both just squeeze in uh, that way around, I think it is. Very tight to get in, but they go in. There you go. So this is where the heater core and the air conditioning condenser was. Um, so basically I've just got a one mil aluminium plate and I'm plugging the hole. So where I took that away before there was a plate here um, and then inside was the uh, the big plastic box that's behind the dashboard that houses like the fan motor and all the other stuff and it's basically a cavity in there um, where the air conditioning condenser drops in from this side into here into a hole um, in this place <clears throat> and also the um, heater core is also in in that space as well so what I did was I just temporarily used some screws just to screw this plate down to cover the hole once I'd taken all that stuff out um, and I used PU adhesive to seal it make sure there's no gases and everything else coming through into the cabin um, but what I'm doing now is uh, I'm just changing those screws because they, they poke through uh, quite a long way to be honest not that that's a problem and it didn't look very neat that's the main reason so I'm just changing those screws for rivets so just make sure you <coughs> choose the right rivet diameter and length um, I've gone for the the bigger head uh, rivets here as well makes it just a bit easier when uh, drilling the holes through and, and getting the sizes right so if I just get that in there I've got a, a rivet from previous stuck in it hold on So, there we go, that looks much better now, all done, and then I've just got the other plate to do next, which is this one here, on the other side, um, as you can see there, that one, um, I've had to fix from the other side, just because of the way you've got this upstand sticking up um, and you can see the PU adhesive I've used as well around the edge before I place the plate on and this is what I was saying about the screws so just temporarily screwed it in so I'll go on the inside and I'll use the same rivets and I'll rivet in from the inside um, that'll be a lot nicer and what was in this hole was the um, the pollen filter there's a big box big plastic box and then it housed the pollen filter and this is where the the big plastic box was that housed all the um, the heater stuff it has the air conditioning condenser and also the heater matrix so when you take that off you basically have some pipes that are going into both bits and I'm talking about the ones that go into the heater matrix there's a heater control valve that's normally around about here and basically you've got some coolant pipes so the coolant pipes you can see this pipe down there that goes along and it goes into this piece here um, what it normally does is it goes up here into a heater control valve and then the heater control valve um, either puts that coolant into the heater matrix to give warm air into the cabin or if you're not asking for warm air into the cabin the heater control valve blocks that off and it diverts it through a little joiner and then back down the return pipe which is probably hard to see but it's this one here so this this is the return pipe coming down here and that goes back into the block I believe so you have in and out and this is simulating I've got a piece of hose here so I've cut those short got a piece of that hose put it across this middle bit so basically what I'm doing is I'm recreating the heater control valve in the position where you're not asking for warm air into the cabin so it's just getting the coolant to circulate round and back Basically you could get rid of these pipes completely and you could shorten them much more, shorten them where they go in and join them up. Um, I haven't done that for now, I'm just testing it and making sure it's okay and it is. Um, and to be honest, that's not going to save much weight and this is out of the way so I think I'm going to leave that where it is, um, tie wrapped it up behind the brake booster 
and it's all fine really it's easy to service and whatever else um, no leaks and stuff so all I did was buy um, some of these plastic 90 degree connectors two of those um, I'll get the diameters at the end of the video make sure you've got all the right components listed Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, hope it gave you a good insight of what else you can save on your race car and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and um, hit the bell for notifications, all that sort of stuff. Check out our Instagram, you've seen it on the car, so the uh, two blokes racing, if you can see that there. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll see you again soon at a race circuit near you. Right, take it easy, bye.